Sutton Classic Sports Network, coming this fall. Hi fans, I'm Holly Hedmark with HLN Detroit. School is back in session and so are fall sports with soccer, golf, and cross country in action this weekend. Today, I am with Guy Murray, director of track and field as well as cross country at Detroit. Coach, first off, I think this is your 22nd year coming back as coach. Did you ever think that you would coach for 22 years? And how do you feel about coaching kids of friends that you ran with in college? Well, yeah, it was always just supposed to be, uh, you know, just kind of starting job and, you know, get moving in the career and everything. And, well, just kind of stayed. Um, yeah, it's a little bit different now. You know, the, the recruiting's a little different with, uh, you know, recruiting people that I was in Scheipel Hall with. And, you know, sometimes you just hope the old stories uh, are forgotten when we're, we're when we're making the serious recruiting pitches and everything. Although the team is defending Horizon League champions from last year, you did lose a few key runners, but you do have four runners coming back who were all conference last year. How does the men's team shape up for this year? Uh, the men's team, we are going to be right in the hunt for the championship again, and you know we're excited about the opportunity. You know, losing Marty Nelke is a is a big loss. Um, he his consistency made it so much easier for all the guys. But I think we're ready to, um, you know, move on without Marty. We're going to have a nice pack. Uh, having a front runner step forward would be great. Uh, but I think we'll be a strong pack, and we have a lot of guys capable of being the front runner on different days. Who are some of the runners that you're expecting to come forward this season? Um, well, Ryan Hofsis was right with Marty in the lead pack last year, and we expect Ryan to be up there. Um, unfortunately, Ryan's track season, he got sick at the Horizon League Indoor Championships and injured outdoor, so we don't have kind of the proof how much he's improved, but we know he has. Um, and then, you know, the guys right behind him, you know, Derek Elorowski, Austin Wygent, and George Holman were all Horizon League. We expect them to be up there. But then we're fortunate to have a couple veterans returning, and Colin Cray and Ryan Leahy both didn't run last year and both scored in the Horizon League uh, on the track. So that's kind of a luxury not many teams have. How much of this season's success is going to depend on moving forward from last year's championship in the Horizon League? Well, in, in our sport is getting to the, getting to, kind of getting to the level we were at last year is, you know, takes one amount of effort and, you know, an improvement. And all the guys are kind of at a, at a spot where the next step gets harder you know it may only be 10 seconds of improvement they want over the 20 seconds they improved last year but those 10 seconds it starts getting harder as you get faster and um, you know staying healthy is a key and sometimes it's just you got a that fine line between training hard and doing all the right things and and do, you know then there is doing too much so we're at a point where we'll see you know I, we think the guys are improved they had a good summer and but it's all you know it's all kind of, you need a little bit of luck along the way. On the women's side, you also had a great season, but you lost one of what might be one of the best runners in UDM history in Luisa Coppola. Are you going to have to rebuild from her graduation? Well, yeah, we, we lost runners one and two, Luisa and Kara, last year. And this year we have five freshmen out of our 10 athletes, so we definitely need the freshmen to step in. So we're we're hopeful that we have a nice mix. It, we're, we're not going to have the front runner that we had with Louisa, that Louisa really, you know, having a front runner makes things, covers up some weaknesses maybe, where this group's going to have to be a pack. And the mix, I like the mix of veterans we have, and then the freshmen all came from pretty good programs that we think they're able to step in. So, But anytime you're relying on freshmen, that's a question mark. Although you do have five freshmen that you're using to rebuild the team, you also have some successful returning seniors and sophomores. How are you expecting them to step up this year? Well, that that's going to be a big key is we need them to kind of show the way. And, you know, Zainab Baydan um, had a great spring last year, and keeping Zainab healthy and moving the way she was at the Horizon League Outdoor Championships will be a big step. And Devin Sutton, you know, she's one that cross country is kind of her thing she likes the longer distances i think she learned a lot last year and so hopefully you know sometimes between freshman and sophomore year you see nice improvement and if we get that from devon and a healthy zainab you know that will be will be in good shape 
Thanks, Coach, and good luck this season as well as this weekend. With HLN Detroit, I'm Holly Hedmark.